This is Matt from Dice at the Round Table. Thanks for checking in on this video. Please subscribe to the channel if you appreciate the content so you're notified when new videos are posted. Like the video if you find it helpful. Comments below if you have questions or any feedback. And in the description, find links to our Instagram, Twitter, and website for Dice at the Round Table. Thanks for checking this all out. And for today, I'm working on this. It is this is a grenadier model and what I wanted to do was use some paints and contrast paints and turn that model into a Luftwaffe division paint scheme with the bluish gray and that's what the goal is so let's get through the video get to the table and I'll go through the paints as I use them and we'll go from there thanks again and let's get to the table
So thanks for checking out this video. Uh, right after this, I'm going to put up for the end screen uh, some close-up shots of this. And but overall, I really like how this turned out. Uh, Luf off of field division might not be squads might not be the best thing to ever field in bolt action. Maybe not very often. However, I always I do like this blue, and always in the back of my head, I always want to like maybe have. If I painted up two squads of these, just having two squads of these guys sitting there. And Warlord does make a metal team of Luftwaffe field guys. But, as you can see, take some German Grenadier if you want to. Paint them up in the blue color. And you got some Luftwaffe field guys that you can uh, custom out if you want to. So, thanks again for checking out the video. Really quick. Um, so, the skin, the skin color was scale 75. Um, I got the, I did unboxing on this kit. I had these and I'm just trying out the different tones to see how they end up. This one was a light skin with the Reichland flesh shade wash over it. The uniform itself was an electric blue army painter. Then I did the Space Wolves gray contrast paint over that to help infuse a little gray to it, give it a gray tone. The metal was all as normal matte black with Citadel lead belcher. The boots were straight matte black. Let's see, the leather on the straps and the belt was Army Painter leather brown. The sack on the back was the German, what is this, German Beige World War II from uh, Vallejo model color. The gun was Monster Brown from Army Painter with Agraf Earthshade wash over it. And the Agraf goes over the khaki as well as the uh, gun. And I did it over the water canteen thing. Oh, the helmet was done with contrast basilicum gray, and I also did the, um, I forget what they're called, it just eludes me, the bit right above the boot with the straps bringing up to the uniform of the pants. That was done in the basilica gray as well. So, there we go. It took about 15 minutes um, or so to paint up the one figure, so we got to base it. But overall, not too bad comes out pretty good tabletop quality. I didn't do any highlighting. The contrast helps with that with the electric blue. That That's the raised portion, so it kind of gives a little bit extra into the highlighting aspect. So overall, pretty pleased with how this turned out. I hope you are too. Give, hopefully it gives you some ideas what to do with some contrast for some historical figures. Again, thanks for watching. Tune in again, and I will be doing a couple more tutorials with some German infantry. Thanks for watching.